Hello, Internet. Today we're doing latte animations. First, it's Lottie, and you're in my seat. What? In this video, we'll be looking at advanced Lottie animations, which are simply animations that you can create in After Effects that can be exported to a website or an app as code. And if you want a basic rundown on how this works, we made a video a couple of weeks ago, that link will be below, which will break down the entire process in just a few minutes. So this video is all about the limitations uh, and what features you should be aware of when creating Lottie animations for your website or for your app. Hey internet, Josh Noel, Slimduck Film, please be sure to drop a like on this video because each like is going to wash away the pain of that latte joke. So let's jump in and let's get started. So there are certain guidelines that we need to follow when creating an animation uh, for the web or for an app. So these are the supported features of Lottie uh, that we need to look at. So for example, this is what I intended to create, uh, but when I first was testing this out, you know, some things were not working. For example, our hand was not animating and this title is flickering. So there are tips in this tutorial that will help you create whatever you're looking to do. All right, so we have everything laid out. You can download a project file if you want to follow along. You'll start right here. Uh, so the first thing we need to take a look at is the list of you know features of what we want to do. So I want to do all the basic animations first. As you can see, we take advantage of the very basic you know layer transform parameters like position, scale, rotation, opacity, you know all the main ones there. And this will work on it looks like every platform here. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way because we know they're going to work. So I want to animate the emoji and this rocket. Very basic stuff. So just do that. I'll hit S and Shift R on my keyboard for scale and rotation on a keyframe for both of these. What I'm gonna do is keep this entire animation looping at two seconds in length. So I'll grab these keyframes and put them right in the middle, okay? So then I'm gonna come here to the scale, I'll set that down 0% and rotate this by a little bit. So then I'm gonna grab these front two keyframes, copy them and go to two seconds on our timeline and paste them right there. All right, so this will be the length of our animation. So what I'm gonna do is take these keyframes, hit F9 on my keyboard for easy ease, go to the graph editor, and I'll select everything here, and you know we could just have this kind of animate in like this, kind of have the snapping animation. So now I'll have one piece of the graphic here animated, and the type of keyframes that you use tend to not matter either. It seems like everything here uh, is available for a Lottie animation. And since we're doing a repeated animation, typically I would use the loop out expression to repeat it, but it seems like down here expressions uh, don't work on every platform, so that's why we're going to just stick with keyframes. So the next thing is the rocket. So one thing I'll do since it's a graphic, I'll make sure my anchor point is here in the center. And with my anchor point in the center, I can easily animate this. I'll just hit here my keyboard for position. I can bring this down over here. We can do some unique animation. You know, whatever you can animate in a graphic might be a good idea, usually. Uh, so always be considering that, and I'll just move this over here. And one thing I want to do here is zoom into our animation. And you'll see that since it's a position animation, we can grab these like handles here and this will help variate it a little bit because I would like this to be somewhat, you know, wiggling in our animation, but since we can't really use expressions, I'm gonna have to do my best here. So I'll copy that first keyframe and paste it to the last one and we'll do easy ease and all that good stuff. So now we have our rocket animating here and it has somewhat of a wiggle attribute to it. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics can be challenging and time consuming. That's why we made over 5,000 templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one subscription price. For example, you can preview templates from one of our packs, say the Motion Graphics Professionals Pack. Then you can change the template parameters and then you are done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. So now we're gonna get into a more advanced concept with Lottie Animation, which is uh, character animation, specifically animating a part of a character. So we're animating a hand. In this situation, I'm actually using the puppet pin tool, uh, but that doesn't work with Lottie. You can't just export this, it's gonna work. So you can't use the puppet pin tool, uh, which is a very quick tool for just animating a small part of you know a character. So we're gonna have to do this the more manual way, uh, which could be you know taking your layer, which I've separated here, the hand, and I can animate it this way. I could right click on it, uh, and go to create and create shapes from vector layer and have this in a shape layer and have all those parameters uh, that could ever want. However, you can't really use merge paths, which in my situation uh, would be using this. So we're gonna use another way because we can use uh, mask here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So if you can use mask and just use the transform values for your character animations, it's gonna be great. So I just wanna animate this part of our hand. So I'm gonna grab the pen tool here and I'm just going to mask out my hand across the line like so and cover that up. So this is one situation here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this layer, go to edit, duplicate. Uh, I'll come here to the bottom layer and I'll set the mask to subtract. 
Great. So we need to animate the top part. We'll grab that pan behind tool and I'll bring this anchor point, say like right down here-ish, right? And now we can hit R and keyboard for rotation. I can add a keyframe for this and I'll move forward to one second and I can say, have him wave up. Okay. So then we have a little bit of an issue here because I need to animate out the rest of his arms. And we can bring up scale, position, and rotation. We'll add a keyframe for all these values. So perhaps what we'll do is we'll break the chain for scale and we can kind of like stretch out the arm by a little bit and we can rotate this. And we can just adjust the positioning of how we want this to fit in there. So at least it'll be somewhat of a movement of our shoulder. So by following the same keyframe animation principles here, you know, we can have somewhat of an arm movement uh, with just using layers, we don't have to go in the shape layers or do anything else really specific. So you have to think about how can you work around your characters just by using the default shapes. You can create shape layers, but I find that, you know, if you can save time and make it work this way, that's the way to go. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is animating text with Lottie. Now looking on the website, we'll see that, you know, it seems like text will work, just depends on what you're going to do. So. Uh, you probably want to be careful with the range selector, the animate, the, you know, the individual character animators. Uh, however, in my scenario, I actually did use those properties, and it worked on you know my uh, website example right here. So, uh, you know, maybe you can get away with it. But for those of you who cannot, what I suggest, you know, take a title. You know, don't worry about the individual character animations. You can right-click your layer, go to create, and create a shapes from text and use a shape layer to animate and you have all those individual character animations there. It's not fun to do. Uh, or we'll just do a simple position animation here. I'll kept it simple. So now just by using the very basic position parameter here, this should work on just about every single platform. So now obviously we wanna test this. So when you're done, hover over the composition and click on the arrow icon and it'll render it out. And we can see our animation looks exactly how we created it. You can save it as a JSON file. Uh, and upload it to your website or app. And as you can see, it works right on my website here. So overall, it's just a matter of testing uh, and just verifying that your animations work according to uh, the supported features on this page. So this link will obviously be in the description. So now you know how to make latte animations. Latte. And if you like lattes, you can download our free After Effects templates down below. And as Josh always says, always make yourself a latte. That's not it.